Brothers, we are back with another episode of Beer Brigade Travellers Edition. We are still travelling, so we are still dealing with a top-down view with my hands. Um, still interested what people think about this um, this view, and hopefully, hopefully, people are still watching. Um, but I don't imagine anyone was watching it for my face. They're all watching it for the beer. And talking of beer, we are looking at Time and Tides Brewing. Sprat Waffler Pale Ale. As you can see, the hops they use, the three hops, are Cascade, Australian Goldens, and Sentinel. If my camera wants to focus. It comes in at 3.7%. And it comes in a 500 bottle. That's their website there if you want to go and check them out. They are based in Kent. I don't know how long they've been going actually. Um, this is the only one I've seen of theirs. Um, I actually got sent it by. Where did I get it sent by? I can't remember. I'll pop it down in the description below if I find it. Um, yeah, it's a pale ale. I'm expecting some nice things. I do love Cascade as a general rule. So let's see. Bottle top, not interesting. What is interesting me is what's in this bottle. Oh, sounded quite vigorous. Let's give it a quick sniff. Hmm, okay. It's a slightly, hmm, slightly um, citrusy grassy hay type malty f smell to it um, I guess what you would expect definitely from that cascade as well mm, really really like dried hay there actually it smells quite nice let's go on to the pour pouring slightly golden hazy okay Slightly golden hazy. It's got what's that? Two fingers, two fingers of. Uh, I'm gonna say that slightly off-white head. Um, nice carbonation is there, but not a huge amount of it. Let's see. Not a lot of um, lacing around the glass though. Let's see. I'm going to dive into this I think. Let's see. Well, cheers guys. Okay. That's really, really nice. Um, very very light mouthfeel, um, which I which I thought would happen anyway because it's not carbonated um, to extremes. As I say, can't see any carbonation in there actually at the moment, which is nice, really nice smooth mouthfeel. Got got a really nice, um, mm, really nice tropical flavour to it. Um, very fruity, light peach to it. Um, maybe some citrus rind in there. A lot of grapefruit. Definitely, definitely grapefruit. Overwhelming fruitiness to it. Um, slight multi, slight multi finish to it, but it's not. It's not. I wouldn't say it's a hugely bitter finish. I would say, if anything, it's it's a light bitter finish. Um, yeah, light, light bit of finish, but, um, just, just the fruitiness stays, even, even with that finish, it stays, um, it definitely, definitely lingers that fruit. Um, as I say, it's, it's, um, a mix of peach, peach and citrus zest grapefruit very slight grapefruit 
Mm. I really like this one actually. It's um, really nice. You can taste that Cascade hop in it, um, which is nice. It's always nice to taste that Cascade. Um, mm, really nice. Um, I really like it. I really do dig this one. I'm I'm gonna have to find. I'm probably gonna have to order it off their website. As I say, I haven't seen it in stores or anywhere like that. Um, so I'm gonna have to um, gonna have to find out where I get that from. Probably their website. And I'll order a couple of those. Um, this this just for clarification is not cold. Um, as I'm travelling, don't have um, don't have a fridge on hand. Um, so actually, I brought this with me. It's been in my bag. Um, mm, but really enjoyed it. Even at room temperature, it's it's still a very good beer. Um, it's got that got that light pine taste to it and slight hay taste to it, and I really like it. I really like it. The smell smells there. I'm going to give that a 5. Um, the body of it, as I say, not a lot of carbonation, surprisingly. There's slight light carbonation in it, you can see. But but not, not overly aggressively carbonated, like a lot of these pails seem to be. Um, and it's that hazy golden colour that I love seeing with a um, pail. Um, so I'm going to give that a 5. Taste again. Taste again is, is sublime. And I'm going to give that a 5. Um, I can just point out, even though it's not carbonated, it, it is a bit gassy. Um, maybe that's because I took a couple of big sips there. Um, but, yeah, overall, I'm going to give it a 5 out of 5. A really good... Um, I would I would incur you to to try it if you can get a hold of them um, definitely try it so that was the Time Tide Brewers Sprat Waffler Pale um, yeah all across the board outstanding beer so hopefully the next beer we review will be as good if not better so join me on the next episode of Beer Brigade and cheers Good drinking.